Hi, I'm Sandy McCauley. In this video, I'm going to be showing you where images will cut from Make the Cut to a Click and Cut. Um, right here, I have my Click and Cut Max set up. And the first thing, you know, with the uh, Click and Cut uh, Max and Groovy, you're going to be using the alignment device to set the origin. And so to begin with, you want to make sure that you don't have your paper too far to the right. Because normally, you know, if you're using the lines on the mat, you would be shifting your uh, material, the right side of your material, over to align with one of those lines. Not always, but, but often, you know, people use uh, those lines as guidelines. But instead, what you want to do is, if you have the alignment pin, well, you'll, you actually don't even have to put the pin in, because on the, uh, the groovy, you'll see the little hole, and you'll know where the pin, um, you know, will be aligned. Um, with the max, however, you're going to want to turn on the laser light. And so go offline, press the menu button one time, and then press the origin button, and the light will come on. And then once I see my light, then when I have the machine all the way over to the right, have the blade carriage all the way to the right, then I can see that, that little light shining, and I know that my, the right side of my paper needs to be at least to the left of that light, or right on the light, or a little bit to the left. So, um, and one thing on the mats, I noticed, you know, it's about four little um, squares over from the right-hand side is where you'll want to align your paper. So I'm going to go ahead and press my paper there. And then to um, set the origin on the machine, again, I'm going to use my alignment light. On the groovy, you would insert, uh, let me move this over, you would insert the alignment pin into the little hole right there and use that. If you have one of the older machines, don't worry about this, you're fine. You can continue to just use uh, the tip of your blade uh, to set your origin. Okay, and so now then uh, to set the origin using the alignment light, it's going to be very similar. You're going to put it in the front right corner, put your pinch wheels down and then go offline and then just move the, um, the, the, little, the, the light over so it's aligned with the paper. And if it's going too fast, then you can just slow down your speed, bring your speed down to like 50. And then when you turn it off, it's very easy to get it right along the, the paper if you want to be that precise. Um, until you get your laser uh, calibrated and your alignment pin, you might want to give yourself a little bit of extra room, like move things over just a little bit, just so you're not right at the very edge. And then, of course, um, you can actually get the pinch wheels up, and you can just slide your mat forward so that you're aligned right um, along the bottom edge also. And then at that point, once you have the dot there, you can press the origin button. And again, if you were doing this with the alignment pin, then instead you would just take your alignment pin and have the tip of it, use it to set the origin on the machine. Okay, now that inside Make the Cut, when you first turn it on, you're going to see something like this. Your mat may be a different color. Um, what I want you to do first is go over to the mat configuration, and from the drop-down list, go ahead and select 12 by 12, and then you can select uh, change the color if you want to. I like this color blue. And then uh, you'll notice that under you, you, it's showing landscape. You can have landscape or portrait. I'm going to start with portrait only because um, when we get ready to send things to cut, this way it's going to look very similar to how it does from Click and Cut Studio. So I'm going to click uh, portrait to begin with. And when you do that, you should see this arrow pop up right here up to the, uh, at the top of the, uh, the mat. And then you can slide the zoom uh, downwards to the left until you can see you know, um, the full amount of your mat on the screen. All right, and then again, make sure this mat. Now, this arrow on the mat indicates the direction that you would be inserting the, the mat into the click and cut. Um, for example, if I went to, back to landscape, then you can see the arrows over here on the left, and this would be the direction. This would be, for example, this would be me standing in front of the click and cut over here. This would be the left, right side of the cutter. This would be the left side of the cutter, and this would be the direction, again, you'd be putting in the mat. In portrait mode, then again, this is the direction you're inserting the mat. This would be um, this would be me or you, whatever, standing in front of the click and cut, right side, left side. So that kind of gives you the orientation of how the mat works. Now then, let's try drawing something. Um, I'm going to come up to the import basic shapes icon up here at the top, select it, and then I'm going to click on the and make sure the arrow tab is selected. I'm going to use this first arrow. Now the reason I'm using an arrow versus another shape is that with the arrow, it's very clear the orientation of the shape. And that, that's very important when you're learning where images will cut. So I'm going to click on this arrow. I'm going to double click. And when I do that, I actually double click twice. I ended up with two of them. So I'll delete this one. And this, you know, it, this could have shown up anywhere on the screen. But anyway, so here's my arrow. And now then I'm going to um, just kind of increase it in size so it's easy to see. And then I'm going to bring it down here uh, towards the uh, kind of close to the origin. Now this is where the origin would be that you're setting on your piece of paper. So I'm just going to kind of bring it down here at the bottom like this. 
And now then let's send it over to Cut. Now then, if you haven't used Make the Cut yet to uh, since you've installed the Quick and Cut plugin, go to Cut Project With and select Quick and Cut from, uh, the, from the menu. And when you do that, this window will open. Once you have Quick and Cut selected, then from now on you can just click on the scissors icon and it will bring up this same window. All right, the first thing is to select your model. There's a choice of three. If you have the Groove or the Groovy, then use the top one. Any of the Max models or um, the Eagle, Falcon, any of the ECS models, use the K&K Max. And then if you have any of the older uh, machines, any of the White Element, XL, K&K, uh, Grand, the yellow Quick and Cut, then pick this bottom one. All right, and now then, so pick that, and then make sure the baud rate uh, matches. If you've been using Quick and Cut Studio, then you're probably already set up for 57,600. Uh, the way to verify that on the machine is to press the menu button while you're online. Again, be online, press the menu button one time, and it will show you the baud rate. If you need to change it to 57,600, you can do that um, right there. Um, and then go ahead and press menu, keep pressing the menu button until you get back to your main window that shows the velocity and the force. If you have one of the older clicking cuts, you don't have to worry about baud rate. It is defaulted to 9600, which is what those machines were set up to cut at, or not cut at. Act the baud rate is the data transfer rate, so um, it actually doesn't matter really what you're using in some of the, with the Max uh, and Groovy, just as long as they match between the machine and the software. And then, and again with the Groove and Groovy, make sure your baud rate is set. So I'm going to be cutting to my Max. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to select that. There's the, make sure you select your serial port from this drop down list and then you can click on test connection and it will do kind of like a little slight little jog up and down just to make sure that uh, that you know the, the uh, communication is there between the software and the machine. If you have one of the newest Max models or newest Groovy models, um, if you turn it on, you'll see that the uh, the version number will show up as 5.34L. If you have that, then you can set the speed, the force and speed from the software. Um, I do not, so I'll continue to be kit, so, uh, setting my force and speed at the control panel on the machine. All right, and then here's the multi-cut. If you want to cut something more than one time, you can select how many times you want each path to cut. And then blade offset, uh, this is you know, something that's important when you're using the blade. I'm using a test pin right now, so I'm not going to be using that. Um, but uh, I, I can turn it off, and then that way I won't have those funny little corners you'll see when you use a pen. But anytime you're cutting, you do want to have that turn on and then have the blade offset value set so that it uh, compensates for the angle of the blade to your material. And then finally, here we've got cut type, WYSIWYG and print and cut. I'll be making different videos for the print and cut. For now, just stick with the WYSIWYG. Okay, when I click on start, then this window will open. And in this window, first of all, you have a choice between fixed length and rolled material. Let's start with fixed length. Now with fixed length, make sure this matches, uh, not necessarily what you have on the mat, but make sure it matches this mat over here, with the, the one that was used for designing. So I'm going to have it set to 12 because it is a 12 inch mat. And then um, down here on the, um, um, on the cutter itself, you can barely see, it might be kind of hard, I'm going to zoom in, notice there's an arrow right here, and this is my arrow, and it shows that it's pointing to the right just as I see it on the screen. Now the perspective of this window here is this is, again, this would be you, you or me standing in front of the machine. You can see the little control panel over here on the right, you can see the little blade holder seat right there. And so again, this is, you know, this, this is kind of a side view looking at the uh, clicking cut. And so the arrow is pointing up, but that actually is pointing, it's going to be cutting to the right as you're facing the machine. Okay, and then let's click on, uh, and then when we click on begin, it's going to start cutting. And I'm going to do that just a sec after I get my uh, camera set up. All right, I have a black Sharpie that I just uh, placed into the grip on the machine so that it'll draw a nice big black arrow and it'll be easy for you to see. So I have my settings made as online, and now then over in the uh, software, I'm ready to click on the um, button to start the, to begin the cut. All right, and so you can see that you know it drew the arrow um, exactly where it was on the screen, and so then the next thing we'll do, we'll move the arrow and we'll see where it draws for the second. Okay, so now that if I were to move the arrow up here to the top center, then that's where it would draw on my 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Or if I went over to the right, it would draw it to the right or bottom left. So you get the idea that basically the way you see it on the screen is exactly the way it's going to draw it as you're facing the cutter. 
Now then, let's go to landscape mode. I'm going to come over to my uh, menu over here. I'm going to switch to landscape. And then I have a choice. It's going to either, it's going to rotate my arrow as it rotates it or to leave it unrotated. I'm going to say no, I don't want it to rotate my images. And so now then the mat has moved. You'll see that the mat now has rotated over here to the left. And then I, now then I have this, this same arrow on the screen. But again, notice the mat is facing this direction. Now that with the map facing this direction, this is now where your origin, your front right corner of your paper is. It's right up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring my arrow up here close to that origin, all right? And then I'm going to send it to cut just like before. Um, I'm going to click on the scissors, and then I still have my same settings. I'm going to click on start. And now then you can just very faintly see the arrow pointing downwards. It's pointing down towards, uh, you know, if I were standing in front of the cutter, it'd be pointing towards me. Okay, and again, it still shows you still set your origin in the same location. It's just that, again, the, you know, you have to understand the way you see it on the screen is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be cutting basically 90 degrees to that. So again, we just click on Begin, and we're ready to um, execute the cut. And now then I'm going to send that arrow to cut, and so I come over and click on Begin. <laughs> Okay, and so now then you see in this mode that the um, that the arrow um, again you know on the screen is still a left to right arrow on the screen, but based on the direction the mat is going in the machine, you'll see that now then it cuts the image um, at basically 90 degrees to the way you see it on the screen. So hopefully this will help you understand where images will cut, and watch for more videos to come.